Last week, we left Dr. Smith dozing as Will worked over the chariot. Will was unaware that within moments, Dr. Smith's carelessness would imperil all their lives. You see, Will, even as a boy your age, I was determined to be a scientist. Believe me, there is no worthier ambition. How gratifying it is to work for the betterment of mankind, to strive for the unattainable. How about doing a little striving in this engine? I am a scientist, not a menial mechanic. You're a four-star Goldberg Smith. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but your words can never harm me. Maybe I can get faster results this way. Uh, there is no need for belligerence. You have my cooperation. The bad unit is in the centrifugal repressor, Doc. Now, see if you can replace it. I await your orders, Mon Capitano. We have to put a new fuel pack in the chariot. Your wish is my command, sir. It's over there. Aye, aye, sir. And handle it carefully. That fuel could explode on contact with air. Never fear. Smith is here. Uh, I don't know why we even bother with him, Will. Dr. Smith has some good qualities. I'll get to find any. I can't carry this thing by myself. Come on, it's not that heavy. Put it in back of the chariot. I'll uh, hook it up later. A man of my talents being used as a beast of burden. further use for me, I shall return to my quarters on the Jupiter too. A great feeling of weariness seems to have taken possession of my body. You're always tired and hungry. That's your natural state. something went wrong? We could have all been killed because of your stupidity. If I had the intelligence of a goose, I'd still be a genius compared to you. Yeah, well, all that brain power you're always talking about, it must be well hidden because nobody ever notices it except yourself. I've had enough of these. All right, that's enough. enough. That's enough. Now, what's all this about? Well, perhaps you can tell me.
I'm waiting for an answer, Will. Well, Don asked Dr. Smith to get a new fuel pack, and I guess it developed a leak. Because of his carelessness. It was an accident due to a malfunctioning mechanism. Well, I'm sure that's all it was, Dr. Smith. So why don't we just drop the whole thing? You're a very understanding man, Professor Robinson. And now, Dr. Smith, let's, uh, let's discuss the accident at the hydroponic garden. The garden? Well, it was your responsibility this week, wasn't it? As a matter of fact, it was. But I've been so busy. Hey, you haven't had a chance to do anything about it. That's very true. I was just about to go over there, as a matter of fact, when you arrived. If you'll excuse uh, me... No, 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 no. Save yourself a walk. We don't have a farm anymore. What happened to it? It died of neglect. Oh. I'm terribly sorry. Unfortunately, Dr. Smith, your being sorry doesn't make up for lost food. I don't know what to say. Yeah, well, I do. I don't know how the others feel, Smith, but I'm fed up to the teeth with you. Every time something goes wrong around here, you're always at the bottom of it. You're nothing but a troublemaker, and the sooner we get rid of you, the better off we'll all be. Are those also your feelings, Professor Robinson? There seems to be only one recourse left for me. I shall leave. Immediately. Let him go, Will. forcing him to leave. No one asked him to stay either. Couldn't you talk to Dad? Talk to me about what? You aren't really going to let him go, are you? Of course I am. You know how Dr. Smith is. He can't shift for himself. Well, he's a grown man, Will. He has to learn about responsibility. And without us to lean on, I think he's going to learn rapidly. Here he is now. I took the liberty of borrowing a rifle. However, if you would prefer that I ventured forth into the unknown without any protection whatsoever, I'll leave it here. Now, you're more than welcome to it, Dr. Smith. You're extremely generous, sir. Accept. What I am being forced to do, I must do alone and without aid of any kind. Well, it's time for my exile. I'll take leave of you now.
There's absolutely no use pleading or protesting. I've made my decision. Take care of yourself, Doctor. Bless you for the thought, my boy. Well... Farewell. Good luck, sir. fast asleep right now. Uh, which is where you should be.
Who's out there? Who's out there, I say? Come out here or shoot? I find no difficulty living off the land. I dined very well last night. It's only some fresh baked rolls and jam. Despite the fact that I'm not particularly hungry, I cannot see good food wasted. I force myself to eat. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Did you have a good night? Splendid. Slept like a baby without a care in the world. Dad said mm -hmm. you'd be fine. You didn't pick too good a spot for a camp, though. I didn't? What's wrong with it? For one thing, it's downhill, and if it rains, you'll be flooded. Oh. Mm. Regretfully, breakfast is over. What are you doing, Will? Getting you packed. We've got to find a new campsite. An excellent suggestion, my boy. Together, we will venture forth into the wilderness. Come along. Forward. One, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. to live, remember? Isn't that a place for you to live? I seriously doubt it. However, uh, let's have a look. After you, my boy. Sweet home. You won't 
be so bad after you clean it up some. I wonder what that door leads to. There's only one way to find out. Try it. in order. I'd like to stay, but I have to be getting back. Yes, I suppose you do. But uh, you can stay a few minutes longer, can't you? Nobody knows I'm here. Just a little while. And you won't have to work. I'll do it and you can watch. All right. My dear boy, you have the soul of an angel. You just make yourself comfortable, and I'll start putting things to rights. I might as well lend you a hand. You're a good chap. Now, let's start with the bedroll, shall we? There we are. There we are. Now, roll it out. That's excellent. Concentrate on one of them. Well, I'd like to have a bicycle, but the ground's not smooth here. I've been wanting a photographic microscope. Apples. That's what I like most, like the kind we have at home. All right. Think about apples. Hard.
wonderful instrument in our possession. However, until we fully explore the full potential of this miraculous machine, we must tell no one. I don't understand. there's no danger involved. When we are satisfied, then we'll tell all the others. Are you sure, Doctor? Absolutely. Believe me, I'm doing this for the good of all of us. And remember, this is to be our little secret. Eat the apples, my boy. Conveniences quite necessary for survival in the wilderness. I had to tell my father about the machine, Dr. Smith. Oh. No harm done. I would have informed him myself eventually. Now, uh, what about a piece of delicious French pastry? Can't make up your mind? I was just thinking about Penny and Judy and everyone else. So? It wouldn't be fair for me to have cake when they couldn't. A noble gesture, but hardly realistic. Here, my boy. 
Dessert for tonight's dinner. Compliments of Zachary Smith. Thank you, sir. You know, Will, I've missed you. It's been very lonely here without you. You could have come to see me. I've been banished, remember? Is that the only reason you stayed away? I don't quite follow you, my boy. You said all you wanted to do was check out the machine. That's exactly what I've been doing. For four days? Well, you see, science is a matter of uh, trial and error. I had to be sure there was no danger. Have you found any? There are certain problems. But as soon as they're ironed out... When will that be? Uh, eventually, my boy, eventually. What you really mean is never, don't you, sir? Now, Will, what a thing to say. I fully intend to bring the machine to the family. Don said now that you had the machine, you didn't need us anymore. Surely you don't believe that? He said all you cared about was yourself. That's not true. Then why are you keeping the machine? I don't think I want the paster anymore. I sort of lost my appetite for it. And I'm sure the rest of the family would feel the same way. Goodbye, sir. Will? Will? Wait a moment. Thinking about Dr. Smith? Try to forget him, Will. He's really not worth the effort. I know he was always doing things that were wrong. But underneath, I like him, that's all. A most flattering remark, William. such a monumental feat. Stand back, everyone. I wouldn't want you to be crushed when it materializes. Bring me another complete Jupiter II. Bring me another complete Jupiter II. Appear! There. It was. 
wasn't easy, but... There's nothing there. I can't understand it. It's always worked before. Very good, Dr. Smith. Now, have you any other fairy tales to tell us? a day. Oh, really? I, I thought it could be used over and over. Aren't two miracles of the day sufficient? Go ahead, my dear. Order your dinner. Unless, of course, Professor Robinson would like to have the first wish. No, no, you go on ahead. Uh, I'm afraid I'm a practical man, and somehow I don't believe that you can get something for nothing. Wait, 
make some new tape recordings. Oh, perhaps you don't recognize the name. Uh, maybe these names will help. Cheat. Lie. Trick. Do you recognize the composer, or do I have to go on? No, sir. I'm very disappointed in you. You've sacrificed your moral principles for something material. You lost far more than you gained. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I'm very sorry. And then I don't have to tell you I don't ever want you to do that again. Here come Judy and Don. You want to talk to them, too? Yes, I do. Sit up. Hi. What's going on? We're having a family conference. Join us. on the chariot while well, I... It was my fault. I asked Don to take me for a walk. But well, you were supposed to be working in the hydroponic garden. And Will, weren't you supposed to be helping Don? Does anyone care to make a comment? All right, then I will. And it could be summed up in three words. The thought machine. Well, I guess maybe we've all been relying on it too much, John, but... But why work when the machine can do it for you? Well, up to now, this family's been getting along very well. We have respect and love for one another. And you cannot wish for those things with that. Now we get this machine that makes dreams come true. And instead of making us happier, it sows the seeds of discontent, mistrust, and indolence. I said a machine that makes dreams come true. Nightmares can also be dreams. I'm 
afraid your services will be severely curtailed, my mechanical friend. The thought machine has made you obsolete. Obsolete? Old-fashioned. Outmoded. No longer in fashion. Exactly. However, you may still be utilized as a menial or a servant, perhaps. Ah, Professor Robinson. You have the thought machine. Is there something you want? Yes. And what is that? I want you to get rid of it. Are you suggesting that I destroy our Garden of Eden? Well, if you don't, I will. You do no such thing. I won't allow it. I don't think you have any choice, Dr. Smith. This machine is mine. You have no right to harm it. I do when it endangers our welfare. Very well. And I'll take it away. I'll go back to the old derelict. That, of course, is your privilege. I'll leave in the morning. And if you don't mind, I'll take the robot with me as a servant companion. Your precious machine can supply all the companionship you need. The robot stays here. Myself. Refusing to give me the robot, indeed. I can get along without him, too. Hmm. I have a thought machine, and I can have anything I want. All I have to do is think, and poof! <laughs> I would like some coffee, but I'm too tired. Oh. Of course, if I had a servant... I say, Zachary, would you like a servant? some coffee. Why are you still blinking? You heard my command? I'd like a servant to bring me some coffee.
true love. forget I created you. I'm the master and you are the servant. food unit still working. Yes, it's working well, but e even if it had stopped working, the fruit wouldn't go bad that quickly. Well, there must be some logical explanation. machine gone bad. And Penny's new tapes. They won't play either. I'll bet everything we've got from that thought machine is no longer usable.
maybe everything we thought of had a time limit. Well, then why did everything go sour at once? When things go bad for no logical reason, I've always got an answer. Smith. I hope nothing happened to him. Uh, don't worry about him, Will. The bad penny always... Help! Help! Here he is now. Help! Help! I've got to turn on the force fields. Now at least we're safe. Safe from what? Dad, Don! to be asking for something. He wants my machine. Can you imagine anything more unreasonable? Perhaps you'd better explain what this is all about. I have the slightest idea. And this time I'm definitely not at fault. That I don't believe. All I did was ask for a servant to bring me some coffee. Hardly an impossible demand. Then what happened? Then, for some strange reason, the thought machine didn't function. Instead, this... this creature appeared, and his attitude was decidedly hostile. What happened to the thought machine? It's hidden in a safe place. Smith. I want you to give the alien what it wants. I will not. The machine is mine and I intend to keep it. Very well, Dr. Smith. Don, turn off the force field. Right. <laughs> that alien has no quarrel with us. His arguments with you, so I suggest that you settle it. I'm shutting off the force field. No. Wait. Give up the machine. I thought your good judgment would prevail. First thing tomorrow morning. Now! But that thing is still out there! No, it's not, Doctor. It's gone! Waiting for us. I know it. I know it. I'm turning it off. You're making a terrible mistake. We'll all be destroyed. We're going. We shouldn't be long. Keep the force field on till we get back. I will.
Let's turn back before it's too late. We're getting the machine. <laughs> machine is in there. We'll get it. Here it is. I've, uh, I've given the matter some additional thought, and I've decided to keep the machine in my possession after all. Uh, one of these days soon, we'll be returning to Earth, and this machine is going back to the derelict spaceship where the alien can find it. He didn't harm me. He didn't harm me. personnel. 
Well, we'll leave launch pad area immediately. All personnel will leave launch pad area immediately. Launch pad area clear. Why can't we watch from outside? That rocket may be small, but there's enough hyper-energy fuel in there for a real blast. Commence final countdown. Ten. Nine. I hope somebody eight, finds your message this time. Seven. One of them's bound to land six, somewhere. This better be five, it. It's your sixth try. Four. Three. Two. One. Lift off. It's fire. At 1,000 feet automatically. Is that when the pull of gravity ends? No. But every bit helps. You're learning. What do you mean, learning? I know all about gravity. Come on, let's go see what my balloon's doing to it. Last week, we left Dr. Smith dozing as Will worked over the chariot. Will was unaware that within moments, Dr. 
Dr. Smith's carelessness would imperil all their lives. You see, Will, even as a boy your age, I was determined to be a scientist. Believe me, there is no worthier ambition. How gratifying it is to work for the betterment of mankind, to strive for the unattainable. How about doing a little striving on this engine? I am a scientist, not a menial mechanic. You're a four-star Goldberg, Smith. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but your words can never harm me. Maybe I can get faster results this way. Uh, there is no need for belligerence. You have my cooperation. The bad unit is in the centrifugal repressor, Doc. Well, I'll see if you can replace it. I await your orders, Mon Capitano. We have to put a new fuel pack in the chariot. Your wish is my command, sir. It's over there. Aye, aye, sir. And handle it carefully. That fuel could explode on contact with air. Never fear. Smith is here. Uh, I don't know why we even bother with him, Will. Dr. Smith has some good qualities. I've yet to find any. can't carry this thing by myself. Come on, it's not that heavy. Put it in the back of the chariot. I'll uh, hook it up later. A man of my talents being used as a beast of burden. further use for me, I shall return to my quarters on the Jupiter too. A great feeling of weariness seems to have taken possession of my body. You're always tired and hungry. That's your natural state. Kill because of your stupidity. If I had the intelligence of a goose, I'd still be a genius compared to you. Yeah, well, all that brain power you're always talking about, it must be well hidden because nobody ever notices it except yourself. I've had enough of these. All right, that's enough. Accusations. That's enough. Now, what's all this about? Well, perhaps you can tell me. I'm waiting for an answer, Will. Well, 
Don asked Dr. Smith to get a new fuel pack, and I guess it developed a leak. Because of his carelessness. It was an accident due to a malfunctioning mechanism. Well, I'm sure that's all it was, Dr. Smith. So why don't we just drop the whole thing? You're a very understanding man, Professor Robinson. And now, Dr. Smith, let's, uh... Let's discuss the accident at the hydroponic garden. The garden? Well, it was your responsibility this week, wasn't it? As a matter of fact, it was. But I've been so busy. Hey, you haven't had a chance to do anything about it. That's very true. I was just about to go over there, as a matter of fact, when you arrived. If you'll excuse uh, me... No, 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 no. Save yourself a walk. We don't have a farm anymore. What happened to it? It died of neglect. Oh. I'm terribly sorry. Unfortunately, Dr. Smith, your being sorry doesn't make up for lost food. I don't know what to say. Yeah, well, I do. I don't know how the others feel, Smith, but I'm fed up to the teeth with you. Every time something goes wrong around here, you're always at the bottom of it. You're nothing but a troublemaker, and the sooner we get rid of you, the better off we'll all be. Are those also your feelings, Professor Robinson? There seems to be only one recourse left for me. I shall leave. Immediately. Let him go, Will. forcing him to leave. No one asked him to stay either. Couldn't you talk to Dad? Talk to me about what? You aren't really going to let him go, are you? Of course I am. You know how Dr. Smith is. He can't shift for himself. Well, he's a grown man, Will. He has to learn about responsibility. And without us to lean on, I think he's going to learn rapidly. Here he is now. I took the liberty of borrowing a rifle. However, if you would prefer that I ventured forth into the unknown without any protection whatsoever, I'll leave it here. Now, you're more than welcome to it, Dr. Smith. You're extremely generous, sir. Dr. Smith. Hi, dear. I packed you some food. Thank you, but I cannot accept. What I am being forced to do, I must do alone and without aid of any kind. It's time for my exile. I'll take leave of you now. There's absolutely no use pleading or protesting. I've made my decision. Take care of yourself, Doctor. 
bless you for the thought, my boy. Well, farewell. Good luck, sir. Are you sure he'll be all right, sir? Oh, he's probably fast asleep right now. Uh, which is where you should be.
there. Who's out there, I say? Come out here, I'll shoot. I find no difficulty living off the land. I uh, dined very well last night. It's only some fresh baked rolls and jam. Despite the fact that I'm not particularly hungry, I cannot see good food wasted. I force myself to eat. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Did you have a good night? Splendid. Slept like a baby without a care in the world. Dad said mm -hmm. you'd be fine. You didn't pick too good a spot for a camp, though. I didn't? What's wrong with it? For one thing, it's downhill, and if it rains, you'll be flooded. Oh. Mmm. Regretfully, breakfast is over. What are you doing, Will? Getting you packed. We've got to find a new campsite. An excellent suggestion, my boy. Together, we will venture forth into the wilderness. Come along. Forward. One, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Hardly will I 
recall home sweet home. You won't be so bad after you clean it up some. I wonder what that door leads to. There's only one way to find out. Try it. in order. I'd like to stay, but I have to be getting back. Yes, I suppose you do. But uh, you can stay a few minutes longer, can't you? Nobody knows I'm here. Just a little while. And you won't have to work. I'll do it and you can watch. <laughs> 